Oh, well, it was a choice between being a magician or running a restaurant. Well, how'd you decide? Oh, well, I was much better at flipping burgers than I was pulling rabbits out of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha, buddy! <laughs> the menu would uh, have to be <laughs> Casey Kasem. Oh. Are you ready with the applause meter, Max? Ready, Casey. <laughs> now, as you can see, the cabinet is completely empty. I have the magic words, fierce. Our guest judge, he is the misfit of magic himself and multiple Magician of the Year award winner. Please welcome my friend, Ed Alonzo. Uh -huh. ah, there he is. Ed, you know how to make an entrance, my friend. Nice work. Candace, the disappearing cupcake. One, two. Where did it go? Nice one. 90 minutes. The only person I could possibly reveal the trick to is another magician. Well, I'm a magician. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> That's Barney's version. Quinn said it was a simple card trick. Who's to say which version was true? Quinn's. Quinn's version was true. Okay. The heroes of the underground magic blogosphere, Flash Paper Finelli, Kaiser Mayhem, The Kid. When you think about it, it's crazy they're all alive at the same time. You may recognize my, my screen name, Abraka Dunphy 17. You'll note the clock says exactly 402. I have 315. Yeah, I have 635. Kaiser Mayhem. That's what I do. Wait, it's 520. I actually have to call my wife. It's chilly 13. More scary that someone took that much time to set up this amusement park just for his viewing and just for his fun. That's a little sick. Where we're now on guard, watching for these misty creatures, and it starts to affect everyone else in the room, and they start to go a little crazy. <laughs> Please welcome my best friend. Ed Alonzo. <laughs> this is Ed Alonzo. The duck here is shocking to me because I use a duck in my act. What's that? Oh, no, no, don't touch that. No, wait, wait. 